you are always on the cutting edge of technology, you want the latest features on the market, and have been following the topic of home storage for a long time? Sounds like you're ready for the new three-phase hybrid from SunGrow. Unique in its fast installation. Before starting the installation, please read the safety instructions in our manual. You need a suitable place for the inverter. This means it should be a room where no flammable materials or gases are stored. The wall must be fireproof and able to bear the weight of 27 kilograms. Furthermore, the inverter should not be exposed to direct sunlight, rain or snow. All screws and plugs required for the installation are already included in the delivery. You only need your own tools. And off we go. You need a pen to mark the drill holes. The spirit level, on the other hand, is not necessary as it is already integrated in the mounting plate. Just hold it against the wall, make sure it's horizontal and mark the drill holes with the pen. Before you start drilling, you should make sure that there are no wires running through the wall that you could damage. Take your drill with the 10mm drill bit and drill at least 70mm deep into the wall at the marked points. The dowels for mounting the inverter on the wall are included in the delivery. You will also need a cordless screwdriver for attaching the mounting plate. The required screws are part of the delivery. Due to the practical handles on the back of the device and the light weight, the inverter can easily be mounted by a single person. Et voila! The inverter hangs on the wall, quick and easy without the need of an extra spirit level. For the lift-out protection, you need a cross screwdriver to fix the two M4 fixing screws and washers. Before the inverter can be connected, the AC home circuit breaker must be disconnected, the cables must be de-energized and in perfect condition. Before installation, make sure by measuring that the cables are really voltage-free. You will find all cable requirements and wire sizes necessary for commissioning in our manual. Furthermore, you have to set the DC switch on the left side of the inverter from on to off. Now let's continue with the installation. In the first step you have to connect the inverter to ground. There are two PE connections, one at the bottom and one on the right side of the inverter. At least one of them has to be connected to the general grounding of the house. We start with the AC plug. Because of our handy plugs, you don't have to open the inverter for installation. Simply pull the cable through the individual components of the plug and then screw them together with M4 screws. Make sure that all cables are screwed together with the correct connector. When all cables are in place, pull the terminal strip into the housing of the plug. When you hear a click, the terminal strip is properly engaged. Last but not least, you have to tighten the fasteners. Assembling the backup plug works the same way as the power plug. Connect the power and the backup plug to the inverter. Now let's take a look at the DC connector. After stripping the insulation, you have to attach a crimp contact. For this, you have to check the polarity because each pole has different terminals that need to be crimped. The polarity is marked on the inverter. Then push the cable into the insulating sleeve until it snaps into place. Screw it and that's it. Check again that the polarity corresponds to the imprint. The finished plugs only fit to the appropriate connections. SunClix connectors are used to connect the battery. Pay attention to the correct polarity, this is marked on the inverter. First, insert the cable until resistance is felt. Now the cable is fixed to the connector by pushing down the spring. A clear click can be heard when it clicks into place. Tighten the plug, plug it in, that's it! Now only the communication plug is missing. The smart meter, the battery and the heat pump for example are controlled via the communication interfaces. Remove approximately 4-5 to five centimeters of the cable sheath of the communication cables. Then strip approximately 5 to 7 millimeters of the inner cables. 
If necessary, you may have to fit the cables with end sleeves before you push them into the plug. At the bottom of the inverter, above the connector for the communication plug, you will find a table with information about which cable has to be plugged into which port. The smart meter is connected to the ports A2 and B2. If you also want to connect a battery, you need to pay attention which communication interfaces have to be used, as it depends on the battery manufacturer. The SunGrow battery is connected to the BMS-CAN interface. You may find a detailed installation video for our battery on our YouTube channel. The BYD battery is connected to the BMS-CAN interface as well. Plug everything together, screw it, and plug it in. To enable the inverter to use all functions, the smart energy meter must be connected. This is mounted on a DIN rail and then connected to the power cable. The power goes into the meter at the bottom and comes out at the top. The meter cable has already been connected to the inverter via the communication plug. Now it must be connected to the smart energy meter. For this, you have to connect the cable to pins 24 and 25. For commissioning, you have to connect the new Ynet module. It combines Ethernet and Wi-Fi in one port and is part of the delivery scope. If you want to use Ethernet, simply unscrew the swivel nut from the Ynet S and thread the network cable through it. Insert the RJ45 plug into the plug connector until you hear a click. Screw everything together and plug the device in. If you want to use Wi-Fi, it's even easier. Simply connect the module to the inverter. That's it. The installation is done. Now it's time for commissioning. First, you have to switch on the AC circuit breaker. Next, set the DC switch on the left side of the inverter to the on position to connect the inverter to the PV generator. A look at the LED light tells you if everything works properly. If the light shines continuously blue, the inverter is ready for use. If this is not the case, please refer to the manual where you will find a breakdown of the different light signals. When connected, the Wi-Fi module takes about 10 minutes to fully boot. To finalize the setup, you need to download the iSolar Cloud app. You may find a detailed commissioning video on our YouTube channel.